avenges the fuses drama and carries Knicks to win. New York, Kristaps Porzingis stood in front of his locker 90 minutes before game time Friday night, cautiously thinking through every question and answer, finding himself in the center of a storm not of his making. But the one answer that he went strong in his response was a simple one. Are you worried that the drama of the last 24 hours, comments by his agent and brother, Janice Porzingis, would turn the fans and city on him? I think fans know I'm here in New York, I love New York and I see myself as a Nick for a long long time, he said before the game. And I think they shouldn't be worrying about that. And he didn't seem too worried either once he was back in his comfort zone, on the court. He converted his first four shots and poured in 37 points, leading the Knicks to a 120-107 win over the Phoenix Suns at Madison Square Garden. I don't think about stuff too much, pours and just said afterward. In one ear and out there, and that's how I've been my whole life. Sometimes it works good for me, and sometimes it doesn't. That's how I am. I'm too loose. I keep it simple for myself always, and focus on the things I need to focus on, and everything else is in and out. That's my mindset. He certainly seemed to have the crowd in his corner, slamming in a follow of a missed shot early in the quarter and starting up the chance of MVP again. He keyed the Knicks to a fast start, building a 21-point first-half lead, and after the Suns whittled the lead to six in the third quarter again resumed the highlight film. By the time he swatted a Josh Jackson layup on one end and finished by filling the lane for a dunk and three-point play on the other end it wasn't even the MVP chant that rang out as much as just a rumble and awe from the crowd. His explanation hadn't even hit the newsstands yet and already the crowd was screaming full-throated support. I love that play, poor Zinja said of the block and dunk. Honestly, just the energy that was in the garden at that moment, it was unbelievable. I had to calm myself down to knock down the free throw. The 37 points, one shy of his career high set two games earlier, marked the sixth time in eight games he has had at least 30 points. That is the real point in all of the furor. Porzingis, who clearly has been unhappy with some of the drama and dysfunction, as well as the losing, in New York, tried to temper the critical comments that surfaced Thursday from a Latvian magazine. I thought the article and everything was taken out of context, pours and just said. A big part. But it is what it is. It is what it is. He made those comments and right now I really want to focus on the game. Really. Just during the season I don't think this is the right time to talk about things like that. It's just the business side and right now I don't think is the right moment to talk about that. But Janice Porzingis raised the issue, going on the record with thoughts that have been whispered around the NBA. Porzingis skipped out on his exit interview with then-team president Phil Jackson at the end of last season and headed to Latvia without speaking to the team. That had Jackson fielding trade offers in the summer before he was fired and brought into question Porzingis's future in New York as his brother and agent noted that the money that the Knicks could offer him while substantially more than he would get if he opted to leave after his fifth season, was not the biggest factor in his decision. Nick's done with me load drama, Nick's get a poor Zinja storm warning Eames Cantor, forward finds a home with Nick's rebuild, Nick's president Steve Mills keeps calm first, it's a long time, before signing a new deal, Janice Porzingis told Sports Vista. Second, there are so many things that can happen in the season, so it's a waste of time thinking about it now. He needs to be healthy and play his game. And even that is conditional, since we know that Joel Embiid was recently awarded a maximum contract for 30 games. The most important question here is this, what do you really want to achieve in your career? Because money, if Kristaps performs at least on his normal level, is gonna come. We are more focused on some other values and not just to quickly sign a new contract so we can collect the money. That's definitely not our goal, so we won't be feverishly counting minutes or counting points. You can't escape the reality and the Knicks must also see that. From their point of view, Kristaps is the focal point at the moment, so you cannot upset him much or otherwise, at the end of the season, 
he will say it's not so cool here. The second question is, who is the New York audience coming to watch?